Okay, yes. So season two, what can we expect? What are you allowed to tell us? I'm allowed to tell you more mermaids. That's, I'm, I'm sure everyone's told you that so far. But I, I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be interesting to see like how Rin interacts with the new mermaids that come on land, how we all interact with them, because we've gotten so used to dealing with Rin and the trust we've built. These new mermaids, we don't know if they're going to trust us, if they're going to be antagonistic to us. I think that's going to be very exciting. How much are we going to learn about your family and your mom possibly coming into play at some point in season two? Yeah, I think a lot more. I think that's going to be a big storyline for Maddie. I think in season one, you definitely got to learn about her in relation to, I guess, the men in her life, you know, her dad and her boyfriend, which is fine. She loves them a lot. But in season two, I think we're going to see how she is as a woman independently, but also, as you say, that family dynamic, her mum coming back, which is going to be a painful dynamic for her to deal with, so she, she's got kind of a lot that she's juggling and trying to work out, so I think this is going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, one question that interested me, all three of you leads are British, and you're dealing with, uh, obviously you're an American set show, which is not that big a deal, but your story involves like... Uh, Native American background, and I'm just like, uh, and I'm just wondering, um, yeah, like, just what's that? What that's kind of like, like being immersed in that, um, having that as part of your your character, and and how you're honouring that. Basically. Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, so yeah, both Alex and I are British. Eileen is from Belgium, but yeah, lives in Britain. Yeah, and I think it was really important for me. Because um, Maddie's stepdad is Haida, so she's yeah. you know she's yes. not um, Native American herself, but I think it allows us the opportunity to explore the fluidity of culture yeah. and what it means to not necessarily have been born of a culture, but be but, immersed, but be immersed in it, which is what Rin is having to experience. She's having to experience. Hey, hi. How's it? <laughs> We're talking about. Yeah, culture, I guess. Rin is having to be immersed in human culture, and I think I really enjoyed that from learning about Haida culture, doing that research. Hi. <laughs> oh, yay, yeah, you're the guy! There you go. Yeah, I was holding down the fort. Cool. No. Um, I'm talking about how, like, uh, she asked a great question about, like, learning about Haida culture, and I was saying how you've been doing research on it, and also that Rin is. Rin is is being immersed in the, the human culture that's fun yeah. to research. Is that kind of? Yeah, yeah, just because you're all uh, British, European and, and filming this show that is, is steeped in some native legends and yeah. stuff like that. Like, lots of research to be done. But yeah. I, found a little, we, I was just telling her, I found a little book about all the legends and myths of the Haida culture, mm -hmm. which we're going to get into as soon as we're back in Vancouver. But it's it's great, isn't it, to, yeah. to explore a different... Thing and I, I think um, the hater people are more open. Yeah, to myths of shape shifting and yeah. And yeah. it's where we are in Vancouver yeah. where we're shooting. Yeah. There's like a real a, a big hider community there too. Yeah. So we're kind of like luckily immersed in some of it too. So yeah. it's like there if you want to go and find it. Yeah, because the Pacific Northwest is such a famous uh, like it has its its own unique uh, legends. And obviously yeah. I'm Australian, so I don't know that much. Yeah. But yeah, I know it's a specific, uh, really specific cult native culture. Yeah. So. yeah. So that's yeah. So we were talking a bit about relationships with your mom is now coming into play and of course Ben has heard the siren song and it's really affected both Maddie and Ben's relationship. So where is it gonna go to in season two? How are they gonna deal with this? Yeah, me too. I really want them to be able to grow from the difficulty, you know, rather than necessarily crumble from it. Yeah, I think uh, the first thing that you need to do is realise that you've got a problem. Yeah. I think that Ben has now realised that he's got a problem. I think uh, I think he has been doing his best to act, uh, to do the right thing. Um, but I think he needs to, he's had to start questioning himself a little more. Uh, and I think that he needs to try and figure that out. Uh, and I think that's interesting. I've never really seen that before. Like someone having to deal with the effect of someone else's superpower. It's usually like how the superhero uh, uses their superpower. But like Ben is affected in this way. It's interesting to explore that side of it. It's funny because when Eric was here, he actually used the word addiction. Would you kind of liken it to that? Is that how we understand that? Yeah, I think that's definitely an idea that has been flowing around. I 
think it was so ambiguous and like keeping its ambiguity through season one was important. But I think, uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it is an addiction. Uh, I also think that, yeah, it's having, it's just having an effect that he can't control. And I think addiction definitely is that too. How we were talking again to Eric and Emily about the unusual like dynamic between the three of you. How would you three feel if it eventuated about playing like a healthy, open, three-way relationship on TV? I think it'd be very interesting to see because I I don't actually know how it would work. Yeah. Um, I can't quite imagine it. So maybe it is a, a fantastic way to explore to explore that. Yeah. I think maybe because Rin is mermaid and for her things are so different. Um, in the way she shares and gives love, maybe it is a bit more flexible of a model mm. than perhaps if we were in a very Not realistic society, TV show. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's just interesting because there are a couple of popular shows at the moment that deal with. There's a Netflix show called You Me Her, which is about uh, oh, really? it's, it's it's about like a suburban couple who end up in a three way relationship, and it's like, very healthy and unusual. So, and yours is the only other show that's picking that's like that could be possible. So it might be I only know like okay. one. I know, yeah. In my real life, I know of a couple that. That's what that is a three. Yeah. 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 And for yeah. a while, yeah. it worked for them. So yeah. you know, know. who knows? Yeah. It's just uh, a bit different to the you know girls fighting over the ball. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It doesn't fall into the stereotypes. Oh yeah. yeah, and I think throwing a mermaid into the mix <laughs> the trio does switch kind of switch it up. Well, now that Ren knows that she does have the siren song, has the power over humans, is she gonna be able to control it? In some way to use I think it that's, on more that's people. A great, uh, that's a great journey. I think maybe for, that, that we need to go on in season two is exploring the effects of it and seeing is it something she can manipulate to actually have more of a less damaging effect or is it one of those things it's like a weapon she needs to just never use it yeah. I think that's a great journey for her to, to start going on and trying to discuss and also that. as a woman what that relates to too you know the well, kind of metaphor that. as Aline watching this is not me but I'm always wondering with the power of that song and what that's created that addiction if I were in, if I'm just watching, right? If I were in, I'd want to sort of see is, is it just a song or is it like, are you re is it real? Oh, uh, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Is it me or is it the song? Yeah, yeah that's, that's really interesting. Yeah. That's, that's very human. I don't know if Rin quite sees it in that sense. Yeah, but, uh, fair enough. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Paula, I just yes. randomly saw on Wikipedia. You're from Conor Oak Park. Yes. Yeah, my best friend lives there. Oh, in, really? Yeah, yeah. Do you live in London? Uh, I, I used to live in London, but my friend who's uh, has lived in the UK, he's actually just about to move onto a houseboat, but until then he was living in... Yeah, he took me to the... Uh, Horniman Museum. Yeah, the and, yeah, yeah. Anyway, well. I'll hopefully see you again. Yeah, definitely. That is so yeah. cool. Yeah. Uh, my name's Natalie. Yeah, I can give you a try. Sure yeah. We appreciate it. Yeah.